is a damn shame. Oh. My. God! No. Don't like that. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot. This is really good. This is really good. My heart soars with the eagle's nest. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody uh, just came off of a bye week. I would say we got to celebrate a victory Monday with the Buffalo Bills loss last week. The Buffalo Bills right now, I don't know what's going on with them, but it's starting to show a bit of a pattern um, when it comes to Josh Allen. He seems to go through these, these portions of the season where he just forgets how to play football. But anyway, I digress. Victory Monday happened for the New York Jets, even though we were on a bye week. And the reason why I can say that, even though right now today in the AFC East, the Miami Dolphins are currently hold the uh, the first place rights to the AFC East. The New York Jets are still in second place. However, the New York Jets are in complete control of the remainder of their season. I say that because we've already beaten the Bills. We've already beaten the Dolphins. We currently are second place with the win this weekend against the Freaking Patriots, the New York Jets not only take charge of the AFC East at number one, but are literally in control of their destiny for the remainder of the season. So, with that said, how do we feel about this Patriots game on Sunday? Let's talk about it. I can do it all, I will never fall If the rain is harsh, you know that I got the mother, mother sauce man. You know I'm the boss, I know what it costs I knew what I lost, I'm so worth to tell you I'm a renaissance man. I can do it all, I will never fall If the rain is harsh, you know that I got the mother, mother sauce man. You know I'm the boss, I know what it costs I knew what I lost, I'm so worth to tell you I'm a renaissance man Congratulations, brother. Hey. And here we so we play the Patriots this Sunday, and they're five and four, currently last in the division. The New York Jets six and three, and second place in the division. Between us and them is of course the Buffalo Bills. Now you would think this game should be looked at like any other game, right? Just focus on this week, you know what I'm saying? Move on, do your thing, do your job, get the W. If you lose, okay, boom, focus on the Bears next week. But I don't know if this has ever happened before, but literally in this particular situation, this particular scenario, the New York Jets win the game. They're first in the AFC East, second, I believe, in the AFC. They lose the game. They drop to last in the AFC East, and they drop almost to out of the playoff picture for uh, <laughs> for the AFC. I don't, I don't know if that's ever happened before, um, but here we are. So, some are going to tell you this is a must win. Some are going to say it's not a must win. You know, you can go ahead and, and lose this game and still be chasing the playoffs. But in all actuality, we have not beaten the New England Patriots in thirteen games. We are 0-13 of the last 13 games. Um, I'm sorry, man. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of it. I just, I can't. I can't go through another season with them, unfortunately, um, being like we're winless against them. Can't do it. The Jets beat the Buffalo Bills. The Jets beat the Miami Dolphins. The New England Patriots are by far the worst roster in this division. They are. They're the worst roster in this division. Bill Belichick, without Tom Brady, is a losing quarterback. He has a losing record without Tom Brady. So people are going to say, well, it's Tom Brady. He's terrifying. He's scary and blah, blah, blah. But, like, in all actuality, he's just a man. Like, he does bleed. You've seen that. He's taken four losses this year. And look at the teams he's beaten. They haven't been impressive. They haven't been impressive wins. He beat the Jets. But did he know? Or did we beat ourselves? 22 to 17. If Zach Wilson throws one less interception, 
we'd still potentially walk away with a win in that game. That pick six holds. We win that game. That offense couldn't move the ball on us. So, I, as cliche as it sounds, I, I just, I just, we, we didn't get beat by the Patriots. We beat ourselves. I mean, call me lame, call me whatever. That's 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 my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, we play them again on <laughs> on on Sunday. Uh, Zach Wilson against against Bill Belichick in his career um, has thrown for three touchdowns, two touchdowns. I think it's two touchdowns and seven interceptions. Two touchdowns, seven interceptions. That's uh, that's a this is a horrible stat, horrible stat. In fact, Zach Wilson only has sixteen interceptions in his career. Think about that: sixteen interceptions in his career, seven of them came playing against the Patriots. I mean, I, you got to believe it's mental. Zach Wilson has shown the ability to actually be a pretty good um, protector of the ball. Like he. It's not in him. You, we saw this, of course, last year, home, first home game against the Patriots, where he decided he was going to throw the ball to the other team. We saw it again this year at our house. You take away those seven interceptions, you've got Zach Wilson at nine career interceptions, I think it would be, and what, 13, 12 touchdowns? Like, it's, it's better. It's, it's a better statistic when you look at it that way. So he has to get over the hump here, and we've got to go ahead and beat these Patriots. So this Sunday, the Jets are going to go to Gillette Stadium, and I think it's time for us to really see what this Jets team is about. And and no, I, I don't believe that if we lose this game, our season is over. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that because we'll be 6-4, and four, very much still in the playoff hunt. I think all of us would have been begging for this kind of a record at this point of the season. We're on track to go ahead and see ourselves in that in the hunt freaking little uh graphic come November and December as we're eating Thanksgiving dinner and we're we're opening up Christmas gifts. We we're seeing ourselves now pushing ourselves up in in into that realm of in the hunt, which is what a lot of us wanted to see uh when this season started. But I think one of the most important things that we needed to see when this season started was Zach Wilson's progression. And yes, statistically speaking, Zach Wilson has played better football this year. He is on route to go ahead and, and just have a better year than he did in year one. So, progression. However, he operates out of the AFC East. When you've got a team the, like the Jets have right now, and really the only question mark is the quarterback, and you look at a Patriots team who's dominated this freaking division for decades, and you have a chance now to go ahead and send them to, I don't know, uh, NFL purgatory. Maybe it's their time for them to go ahead and start experiencing some of the pains and the ills that the Jets, the Dolphins, and the Bills have had to deal with. Um, they've lived a very fun and glorious freaking last several years, last 15 to 20 years. I think it's time for us to go ahead and put a cork in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to send these guys to the bottom of the division. And if it can start with us this Sunday, we're talking about literally creating more separation between us and them at the bottom of the division. I want to see nothing more than for the season to end. And I do believe one of the three of us will win the division. If I had to pick today, if I had to pick today, I believe the Miami Dolphins would probably be the division winners. If I had to pick today, based off of this is what those that offense is doing, Tua is playing about as flawless and surgical as you can imagine. If I had to pick a division winner this year, I I would have told you a month ago, Buffalo Bills, no questions asked. But now the, the Bills are 0-2 in the division. They've got an uphill battle. And the Dolphins, man, like Coach McDaniel has done an incredible job getting that offense firing on all cylinders. I don't I, I see it as potentially Dolphins, Jets, Bills, Patriots. Jets. Dolphins, Bills, Patriots. Dolphins, Bills, Jets, Patriots. I, no matter what, the Patriots need to be at the bottom of this division when it's all said and done. Their time is over. That roster is not scary. They don't have a quarterback. 
They don't have wide receivers. They The tight ends that they, they brought on to it, we thought were going to go ahead and be huge benefits. I know we were trying to go ahead and get some of those guys, Hunter Henry uh, and John o. Smith, and they've been ghosts. In fact, we we don't. no team has to play defense against our tight ends because the Patriots are doing it for us. They're already eliminating two of their best uh, receiving weapons from the game plan. So the Jets have to win this game. It's not, it's not, I think the Buffalo Bills Jets fans said it perfectly. It's not a, a must win. It's just a can't lose. We can't lose this game. And it's going to do so much, not just for the morale of the fan base, but to set the tone and to send the message that the New York Jets are for real, right? Even though we're six and three right now, you're still going to see the pundits who have jokes, who don't take us seriously, who think that, you know, it's a fluke. Oh, the Jets only beat this team because of that. They beat this team because of this. Like, we're not getting the respect we deserve. And I think, unfortunately for us, until we have taken a chunk of every team in our division, that's going to remain the case. 0-13 against the freaking Patriots? They're about to have the, the I think, the longest ever record of beatdowns against a divisional opponent. That's about to happen on Sunday if we don't get this win. We cannot continue to validate freaking this Patriots team. They are less, they are a lesser team than us. Across the board, in every metric, statistically speaking, right now, that team cannot hold a candle to what the New York Jets are doing. With the exception of Judon, who's currently leading the league right now in sacks, there is nothing else on that roster that is terrifying. Bill Belichick is a man. He's not Darth Vader. He's not Voldemort. He's a freaking man. He bleeds just like the rest of us. He can be beat. It's happened four other times thus far this season. The man has a losing record without Tom Brady. And I know a lot of us want to go ahead and crown him as the greatest ever. Statistically speaking, the record speaks for itself. He is the greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. But since the loss of Tom Brady, Average, average head coach. Average head coach. So, just can't lose this game. We're not gonna have. We're not gonna have Corey Davis. He's out again with a with that uh, knee issue. Um, we, 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 we need to do something with Elijah Moore. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing of like, oh my God, this is what we need to do. Elijah Moore needs to be a factor in this week's game plan. If he's going to be on this roster, it is he's somebody with with talent. We can't pretend like he's not talented. He's very, very talented. And we need to utilize that man to the benefit of this team. It's about winning. It's about right now the New York Jets are literally in, 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 in command of their own future. Their own destiny is in their hands right now. The only way the New York Jets right now don't beat, like, win out the AFC East is if they lose a game. I'm not expecting them to, to win out, but they need to win more games than the Dolphins and the Bills over this next freaking uh, second half of the season. We're doing it with a bunch of first-year, second-year guys. I, I can't begin to tell you guys, man, just how fun football has been this season. It's been so fun. Just a blast. Like, without football this past Sunday, you know, I, I focused on the Dolphins uh, versus Cleveland's game, and I focused on the Bills versus Vikings game. And all I could think of is they both lose. Wow, the Jets are going to be in first place in the division without even having played a game. Miami destroyed the Cleveland Browns. Destroyed them. The Vikings upset the Buffalo Bills. We're in second place in the division with a shot legitimately to be number one with a win this weekend. It will be the first time that the New York Jets were number one in the AFC East when the season didn't start off one and we were one and no. We had a tie record with two other teams. We had the start uh, harder set the schedule. So we were one and oh across the board with the other members of the AFC East. And we were in first place in the division. That's the last time the Jets were first place. We were one and oh. Seven and three. Midway through the season, we're in November. To be in the con, to be to have the opportunity to be first in the division is just insane to me. And yeah, I get it. We had expectations. We had expectations, and since then, 
They've evolved. We've gotten to this point. But you've got to be a fool to be a Jets fan and not expect this team to be in the playoffs this year. 7-3 and three puts us at a, I think it's a 90% chance of making the playoffs. That's that's the statistic. Statistic is if you if you start off the season at 7-3, and three, your, your odds or percentages go up to 90%. In fact, I saw a graphic the other day that says, like, there's never been a team that started 7-3 and three that hasn't made the playoffs, if I read that correctly. Or at least is that in the modern era. I got to do more research before I just say that out loud. But to some extent, 7-3, and three, you're almost guaranteed a playoff spot. This defense is elite, man. I know right now with the seventh ranked defense, I think that's horse crap. I think the New York Jets are top three, if not the number one defense in the NFL. Because we have playmakers at every level. We've got two of the top ten cornerbacks in the in, in the NFL. Uh Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed um are just insane. They've been this is performing insane. But in terms of the trio, the Jets are the only team in the NFL right now with a trio of defensive backs that have hit positively or it was like it's green metrics across the board in terms of effectiveness i'll put that graphic up here somewhere if i find it again um and that's telling man that's this team is really good this defense is a super bowl caliber defense we have a super bowl caliber defense we have a playoff caliber special teams playoff caliber running game the biggest question mark that the new york jets have right now is that quarterback and unfortunately for us that position touches the ball the most so Big game this Sunday. Big game this Sunday. It's not a must win, but it's definitively a can't lose. The Jets have proven a lot of the doubters wrong. A lot of receipts have been turned in. Ever since that comment by Coach Sala about taking receipts, you've seen us as an organization, us as Jets fans, the organization, continue to go ahead and just relay those receipts back to the doubters, non believers, and the haters. This win against the Patriots, I think, exemplifies what Coach Salah spoke about early on in, in, in training camp. When he talked about when you're writing your own story, you never give the pen to another man. When he talked about the beatdown we've taken in the AFC East and how the narrative had the changes, you know what I'm saying? That shit ended this season. We've already done it with the Buffalo Bills. We've done it with the Dolphins. It's the Patriots' turn. It's the Patriots' turn to go ahead and catch an L from the Jets. I don't know about you. I'm excited about this game. I think the Jets are going to win this game. Now, I know in times past, I was doing the old, yeah, that number obviously didn't work the last time I played the Patriots. So I'm going to just be straight up this time. I'm not playing the game. Straight up. No, no air quotes, no nothing. Straight up. The New York Jets are going to win this game this weekend. It's going to be... A beautiful collaboration of defense, special teams, the running game. I do believe Zach Wilson is going to be good for at least one turnover. But for the most part, he will play efficient and clean football. That gives the rest of the team a chance to beat this New England Patriots team. When it's all said and done, the final score for this game, 21-13, New York Jets. God willing, it's more of a beatdown than that. But I do believe that it's going to be a one-possession win. This Patriots team, the Bill Belichick, whatever, the mumbo-jumbo, the whatever, has gotten into the head of Zach Wilson enough to where we've got to take this seriously, and I do believe that's going to play a role. 21-13, New York just win this game. We go to 7-3. and three. We kick off victory Monday, leading the AFC East division. And uh, I don't think we let that shit go for the rest of the year. If I'm being honest, I believe there's going to be some surprise wins that a lot of people aren't counting on. I think this defense is that good. And for all we know, that beatdown that Zach Wilson took against the Patriots could have been the game that makes everything click. Josh Allen said when he had a game like that in year two against the Patriots, when he threw for three interceptions, Harbor game, it's when it all clicked for him. And of course, you brought Stephon Diggs, that also helps. But it clicked that maybe, maybe, just maybe, that game against the Patriots was the game Zach Wilson needed for it to click. 
saw him play a real good game of football against the Bills the following week. Let's see him do it again this week. 21, 13, New York Jets. Victory Monday kicks off next week. The New York Jets lead the AFC East after this Sunday. Now that's just crazy. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. Nothing. 